Firefighters say the emergency is far from over. The fires are still growing and now they're bracing for dangerous conditions this weekend. Dry, windy weather that could make the dangerous situation here even worse. Erratic and dynamic. That's how firefighters are describing the infernos that have now killed more than 30 people. In Santa Rosa alone, fire has destroyed more than 2,800 homes, including the house of the legendary Peanuts creator Charles Schultz. Across the region, flames have engulfed wineries, vineyards, and at least seven marijuana farms. Firefighters are stretched thin, sleeping whenever and wherever they can. We met this crew from Southern California. After battling a destructive fire in Orange County earlier this week, they drove eight hours to help up north. If you had to measure just how bad these fires have been this week on a scale of one to 10? Well, I'm gonna say where we're at now, a 10. Some, like Contra Costa County Fire Captain Chris Christensen, are still working despite losing their homes. And I didn't know what gone meant until I saw it. Like nothing left. Yet amid the ashes, stories of hope. It was close. It was really close. Pete Tamayo's family was rescued by a California Highway Patrol helicopter. There was only room for four, so Pepe stayed behind. I called my daughter and I told her, Mika, if I don't see you again, remember I love you. But the chopper returned, saving him too. We got jambalaya already prepped. I got some chickens already going. And then there's celebrity chef Guy Fieri, who calls Santa Rosa home. All my friends that have lost their homes, and I'm devastated. He rounded up friends to cook thousands of hot meals for evacuees, first responders, and volunteers. It's overwhelming. It, but the silver lining of it is that there is faith in that people want to help each other. This morning, the fires are between 1 and 10 percent contained. The death toll is now at 31. Authorities fear that will rise. They are still investigating hundreds of missing person reports, but are hoping that many of those people will be tracked down. Back to you. All right, Joe Fryer, thank you. Al is here with a little bit more on the conditions that these firefighters are up against, and it's, it's the wind. Yeah, and that's going to be the problem, and it's going to last right through the weekend. So we're not seeing any help, and of course, the dry, bone-dry conditions of big problem. So you can see we've got fire weather watches and red flag warnings from one part of the state to the other. Santa Ana winds down in Southern California, gusty northerly winds, potential for rapid fire growth. And here we go up into Northern California. This is an elevated fire threat. Strong winds tonight and tomorrow. These developing fires will spread really rapidly. Unfortunately, look at the winds that we're expecting starting off this morning. Uh, we're going to have higher elevations up to 30 mile per hour winds. Santa Rosa, 20 miles per hour. San Francisco 15 to 25, but as we get into Saturday on into Sunday, look at this 60 mile per hour winds in the higher elevations, 30s mile per hour in San Francisco and Santa Rosa, offshore winds intensify, and the smoke is going to be a massive problem. So air quality is not also an issue anywhere from unhealthy to very unhealthy throughout a good portion of Northern California. Guys. All, All right. right, Al, thank you so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.